king salmon are by far the largest of the Alaska salmon. An average fish can weigh 20 pounds, with the world record being almost 100 pounds. Unfortunately, for reasons we haven't yet been able to pinpoint, many populations of king salmon are in trouble. In the last few years, famous waters like the Karluk, Chuitna, and Deep Creek have all been shut down to protect these valuable stocks. Realizing there's a problem is the first step to a solution, and hopefully we can bring back these fantastic fish to their former glory. If you want to catch one of Alaska's largest fish, these are my top places to visit. Remember, choosing a fishing location is only the first step to planning a successful fishing trip. We're going to start our list with Ship Creek. Ship Creek is really your only option for king salmon if you're in Anchorage. It's a short drive from about anywhere in Anchorage to Ship Creek. And while Ship Creek itself offers year-round fishing opportunities, king salmon fishing peaks end of June, first part of July. The river is easily accessible, but has incredible tidal swings that can be dangerous if you aren't careful. Popular techniques include eggs, spinners during high tide, and swinging flies during low tide. Ship Creek offers probably the least authentic Alaskan adventure, but if you're going to be in Anchorage during the King Salmon Run, there's nothing wrong with catching a 20 or 30 pound fish in an urban setting. At number six on our list, the Susitna River mainly makes the list due to its close proximity to Anchorage. The Parks Highway also conveniently runs along almost the entire length of the Susitna, which makes access very easy. It's a popular recreation destination, and king salmon fishing is no exception. Due to the declining salmon stocks, fishing has become tightly regulated, but there are still opportunities. The Deshka River is probably the most popular guided king salmon trip, while there are limited do-it-yourself opportunities for anglers along the park's highway to include Montana, Sheep Creek, and the Little Willow River. Mid-June to July is your best bet to catch this run. At number five, we have Southeast Alaska feeder kings. These fish are caught in the ocean. Southeast Alaska is home to some of the best salmon fishing in the world. The region, which includes Sitka, Juneau, Ketchikan, as well as Wrangell and Petersburg, is a great place to catch feeder kings from the ocean. These fish are still in their prime. Generally, your best bet is to charter an experienced captain, but renting a boat and doing it yourself is also an option. Kings can be a little harder to specifically target while they're in the ocean, but this fishing trip does provide opportunities to catch other species of salmon as well as halibut. This is a much different trip from a, all the others on this list, but it can be especially enjoyable. May and June are your best time to target large ocean kings. Number four is the Connectock River. If you want to fly fish for king salmon, the Connectock might be just your place. The entire river is made for fly fishing, but the lower 20 miles especially can hold amazing numbers of king salmon that can easily be caught with a fly rod. If you want to just focus on catching kings, trips are available to the lower area. While floating the entire river can be a trip of a lifetime. Fishing the river is not without challenges, however. Getting to this remote area can be an adventure of its own. Additionally, much of the prime area for king salmon fishing is privately owned, making access and camping difficult. If you just want to target kings, using an established guiding company may be the best way. Fish the deep sections of the bottom with varied gaudy flies. Early to mid-June is prime time. Number three on the list is the Alagnac River. The Alagnac River is Alaska's premier destination for king salmon fishing. The river is located in the famed Bristol Bay region, and it's known for strong runs of both king and sockeye salmon. However, there's no shortage of different fish species that you can target in this river. If you're solely targeting king salmon, then the lower, slower stretches is where you'll want to fish. Kings become available beginning in June through much of July. Bright colored flies stripped along the bottom can evoke violent strikes. Another option is to float the entire river 
beginning in Novianic Lake down to the mouth. This option provides large fish of multiple species. There are lodges and guide services that will make your trip a success, no matter how you choose to visit the Alagnac. It's a very popular, but also incredibly wild area. Located near the Alagnac is the Nushagak River. The Nushagak River is one of the most productive king salmon fisheries in the world. The river again is located in the Bristol Bay region, and king salmon in this river can reach weights of over 50 pounds. The Nushagak itself is over 300 miles long and offers diverse fishing opportunities. The best fishing for king salmon in the area begins at Ekwok down to the mouth, including the Scandinavian slough. While a guided trip will provide the best chance of success, do-it-yourself options are also available. This section can be difficult to fly fish due to its large size, but flashy bunny flies or fat freddies can result in a hookup. More successful techniques include back trolling plugs, spin and glows, or big spinners. Late June and the first half of July is the best bet to target king salmon here. The number one Alaska king salmon destination is the Kenai River. Honestly, the Kenai River makes the number one spot, mostly out of nostalgia. Nearly all of the world record king salmon have come from the Kenai River. However, lately king salmon stocks have suffered significantly, and to protect these impressive fish, fishing has become severely restricted. Generally, especially if you're guided, king salmon fishing has switched to catch and release. There is some hope that as Alaska tries different solutions, the river can come back to its former glory. While the Kenai River is currently a shell of its former self, the possibility of 50 to 60 pound king salmon keep a large number of anglers coming back to this productive water. King salmon fishing is allowed only in the lower stretches of the Kenai. Be aware that the Kenai king salmon fishery is subject to frequent regulation changes and closures. Unless you have time to figure out this river with all of its nuances on your own, a guide or lodge may be your best bet at catching a Kenai King Salmon. While run timing has shifted a bit, the best times to target King Salmon begin in mid-May and can go till the season closure at the end of July. Some weeks will definitely be better than others during this time frame. If you've never had a chance to catch King Salmon, I hope you get an opportunity to visit one of these destinations we've talked about and hook into the fish of a lifetime. While many Alaskans believe the king salmon is the best eating salmon, just as many would rather eat sockeye salmon, let's talk about where to catch these delicious fish.